Something which is trending at the moment are 3D icons. So in today's video, I'm going to show you where can you get these 3D icons and how can you use them and in which file formats. Hey designer Alex Hero, welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you these 3D icons for UI UX design but before we get started make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, private access to the Facebook group, practice files for these YouTube videos and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, once again make sure to check it out, link is going to be down in the description below. Now let's get started and let me show you some 3D icons. So the first resource we have right here is called free 3 3dicon.com and basically this is the set of all of these icons you can see them right here and you can see browse section and you can search icons so for example let's do menu for example let's see if it has one it doesn't have anything let's try search so we have the browser so it doesn't have too many icons but because this pack is free of course you cannot expect it to have multiple icons uh, from this pack so basically you have to uh, get what's presented right here so how all of this works if I select this one for example you can see that you have premium version so you have three camera angles 12 PNG high-res files uh, for those of you who don't know PNG is just a transparent image file so it doesn't have any background so basically in all of these angles that you can get this PNG file it's just going to have the transparent background so you can use it but there are no layers inside so you cannot change the color of this antenna for example of this dish or whatever basically it's what you get matte and glossy style which is great so matte without any shadows glossy without with all of the shadows and reflections which basically do what you want with it but the crucial thing here is obj source file now this obj source file is the 3d file which is basically used by default by all of these major software tools for 3d and you can open up that obj source file in your tool of choice and then you can choose your own angles and finally and most important thing of all is you can open that obj file access all of these layers and then change their colors and choose the styles for example matte or glossy inside and simply adapt it in this icon to the point where it's usable with your client's brand or with your brand. Finally, we have a Figma file, so if you're a Figma user, that's great, but once again, in majority of cases, you're not going to be able to change all of these angles. So what I'm saying is probably you're going to get these three camera angles in a Figma file, and you can change the colors inside. So if that works for you, fine. But if you want some additional angles, you will have to use OBJ source file, which I'm going to get to in just a second as to where can you open that OBJ source file. So what you see right here is you can buy this icon for a less than a dollar, or you get a free version. So one camera angle, two PNG high res files and matte style. So it's not glossy, it's just matte. It's something like this probably, so without any reflections. So if that works for you, then you can go ahead and hit this download file and then you can change the color uh, inside of Photoshop, for example. So you can mask all of these things and then you can use some trickery in Photoshop to change these colors. But if you want to keep things going at a faster pace, then I would really recommend you buy this uh, icon from this website if you want to. And then you can add adapt the obj source file which I'm going to show you in just a second where to do it. But basically this is free 3dicon.com. All of the links I'm mentioning in this video are going to be down in the description below so you can easily check them out. Next up we have 3d icons from icon finder and basically we have packs right here. So some packs are free, some packs are premium and you can check them out and see how they look like. So what we have right here is download in png and Let's check out others. We just have ICO, so as icon file. So basically PNG or ICO. These are free uh, files and you can see how many of them there are. But the drawback here is you only get this one angle. So if you want, you can go to premium. And let's search the premium and let's check this out, for example. So we have $30 and if we click right here, you can see you can add it to card, one credit needed. And let's see, search information, info. So let's see if we have any any kind of file type or information about this. So these are raster icons actually, which is not all that good. 
because you cannot change these raster icons so let's see this for example so once again we have raster icons so I'm not really sure but on this website I used to get my 3d icons premium 3d icons like years back and yeah ready to use multiple sizes modify color using the icon editor so if I click right there you can see online icon editor so basically how this works is when you select your icon which is the premium icon you can open it up in online icon editor and the chances are there are 3d functions to it what that means is you can rotate it in space but for some icons like you saw on this first pack which I show you there are no none of these icons so if you upgrade to pro on this icon finder you can find these pro icons you can open them up in this editor edit them up so change the colors change the angles matte or glossy like I mentioned in the first website and then download it and use it in your project but basically that's it you can see how it works so search edit colors download so you can download PNG or SVG scalable vector and I would always recommend if you can to download in SVG because it's going to be much higher quality than PNG and also it's going to be much easier for developers to work with this SVG icon Next up we have 3D icons from Icon Shock and you can see 3D icons and characters in high 4K resolution which is great. You can see that they were on Product Hunt so featured uh, product number 2 of the day. And let's see general purpose, let's open this up for example, so let's use this alarm. And you can see we have Figma with uh, all available 3D icons which is great. 4000 pixels with 2000 pixels so that's the width and the height or you can get it at 256 px so basically a square 256 and you get this free option so 128 and 72 what's not so good about this is that you don't get this um, obj file format but let's check out get full 3d pack so we have the pricing and we have multiple pricings right here so let's go with this so all 3D icons and characters, vector and PNG version up to 4K resolution, no attribution required. So let's see, we have 4K 3D elements in 4K, icon shock 3D icons, high resolution. So nobody is really mentioning, let me see that, specials gradient 3D icons. So I don't get to have a OBJ file or any kind of 3D file which I can render which I don't think it's all that good but once again if you like these icons as they are if you like them in these sort of um, angles in these looks so you can change the colors uh, if you open up the Figma file if you are a Figma user but basically you are stuck with these files if you're using anything else if I can see this correctly so 3D icons, 3D characters, 5 different color palettes so okay so you can choose from 5 different color palettes and design the real 3D models and software but once again we cannot get this file so once again if you like what you see right here let's say use this ambulance you can get it for free in 128 pixels which is PNG and if you think that that's good that's good enough for you then fine and if you want you can then um, ask your client to purchase these icons in order for them to use them in their website or mobile app for example and then you can come back and then purchase the higher version or this uh, full 3d pack for example let's check it out so $19 for the full pack $49 for the full pack with all of these 3d illustrations characters and stuff like that so if you're into this sort of thing then you can check it out one of my favorites is actually UI 8 and UI 8 is great because you get all of these options and you also get these file types so if we check this one out for example so we have gaming 3d icon pack so you can see all of these amazing uh, illustrations and icons and most important of all is file types so we have uh, Figma we have this uh, what was it let me check I think Cinema 4D yeah so we have Photoshop PNG and FBX so you can open this Cinema 4D file in multiple um, software tools and I'm going to talk about it in just a second but basically that's the whole point you get all of these different file types so no matter which one of these you choose let me go back to the search so you can see for example this one if we open it up you can see it's available in blender and in Figma 
what that means is you can open them up in blender and then you can rotate them around you can change all of these colors you can choose whichever angle you want and if it works for you you can open them up in figma and then adjust the colors and adjust the styles that way without rotation so basically it just depends of what you want to do you want these angles which these designers are providing or do you want some additional angles which are not provided right here so i'm not going to go through all of them but basically you can see how all of this looks like some of them are even coming in adobe xd file tabs like you see right here so we have figma sketch xd and png we have 32 gesture icons and you can change colors in all of these softwares of choice so basically the amount and the selection is endless and you can see all of these amazing icons and packs so we'll definitely definitely recommend and I guarantee that you saw some of these on Dribble, for example, on Behance, because a lot of designers are using these 3D icons from UI8, which I would recommend you do too. Next up, we have Envato Elements. I mentioned them in every single one of my videos, but because they are fantastic. And you can see we have uh, PNG, OBJ, and we also have the Blender right here. So basically the same story. If you want, you can use these as they are right here you can change their colors do whatever they want but if you want you can open up the obj file for example you can see it's 2000 by 2000 pixels with a transparent background which is great but once again as i said you can open up the obj or blender file and then you can change it right there so once again envato elements and the great thing about envato elements as i mentioned in every single one of my videos is you get all of these things with a single membership so if you want you can check it out links are going to be down in the description below for all of these links which i'm mentioning so you can see what works for you the best and finally we have the spline so spline is actually not a repository it's a tool so you can open up these obj files and i think you can open up the blender files as well inside of the spline you can rotate it you can change it and it works just like xd for example it uh, works just like figma or sketch so you have your layers you have your opacity you have all of these things that you used to inside of your design tool of choice but now in 3d and what's great is it works online so it's inside of your browser or inside of your machine however you want it to be and then you can open up these 3d elements you can rotate them you can change the colors and finally you can export them as high resolution png which you can then use in any kind of software that you want learning curve is not that big so you can see right here so we have the layers on the left much like the figma and we have all of these settings right here so basically it looks just like xd just like figma just like all of these softwares that we used to and basically the thing that you have to focus on here is you have all of your controls right here at the top so you can see in this example you can rotate all of these 3d elements you can change them position them how you want and one more great thing is you can animate them so you can see this play icon right here you can animate your scene with all of these 3d icons and then you can share the code with your developers and developers can then embed this 3d icon animation inside of the live website or app which is a fantastic thing and finally this is free so you can download it right away i will leave the links in the description make sure to check it out you can check out the youtube channel just to get your head through um, through the door uh, per se for 3d icons and 3d in general because as i said it's really trending in this space of ui ux design so i would really recommend for everybody to check it out and just to see if it is for your uh, for yourself if it works for you or not thanks for watching today's video i really hope you found some value in it if you did make sure to press that like button i upload new videos every single week about adobe xd design passive income techniques resources just like these ones so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video take care